Static table in Power BI is required various times. Sometimes you need it for the analysis. Sometimes you might need it for the filters and so on. So I'll quickly show you how you can create the static table in Power BI. Just go here on top modeling and you can see here new table. Once you click on new table, you will see here it shows you the table name. For example, I need to create a static table for the filter of various states in a UAE. Okay, so I'll say here UAE states. And here I need to create a data ticket. So I'll be mentioning here data table. And what should be there in the data table? I need to create the city name. So the name will be city name or it could be Emirates and UAE action here Emirates. What will be the string type? So comma, you will choose the string, it will be string. So data type is string here. And now I need to, of course, enter the values. So the values which I mentioned you was, uh, these are the values. So I'll be just typing my first value here. So the first value will be after comma, we need to open the middle parenthesis here. And for the value, I'll be again going for the first value, which is Sharjah. And this will be in inverted commas. And then I'll be closing the parenthesis for the value and I'll be closing the parenthesis for the values. So this way, my first value is inserted into the table called Emirates. And if I go here, you can see here that the first value is inserted here. So I can go back here again and see here, this is added now. So I can just drag and drop here. So anyone, if you want to use this as a slicer, so you can use this as a slicer. My first value is entered here. So I'll go back here and in case I want to add another value, so I'll be just simply typing comma here and another value will be in the parenthesis here, which will be in Dubai. Similarly, the third value will be Abu Dhabi, again in the inverted commas and so on. If you see here now three values are added similarly i can keep adding so this will become my static table and in case you want to add a new row into this table in future so you can use this this will help you to have the quick navigation to the data even if the values are not available in the table still you can have all these values and of course uh, through the modeling view you can connect it to any of the table using the key which is defined here so I'll just add all the values here just to show you. And you can see here all the seven states or seven emirates of UAE are added here. And if I go back here, so these are all the states which are added here. So this way you can add the uh, data here into different table and you can create a static table. Now, in case you want to add a column also, another column here also, so you can do that as well. So I'll just show you for the second column how you can do that. So instead of Emirates, so you will be choosing, for example, serial number. And then it will be integer. So this will be All right, so here you can see that now I have added all the serial number also into the table, which you can see here. And uh, this has been added here. And now this can be sorted also. So if you want to sort also, so sorting can be done in this way. Otherwise, if you want to sort by a name, you can do that. So depending upon how you want to or which number you want to give to which state for the sort, so you can add that. Now you can see here, these are two columns and in order to add the columns, you will see here that we have entered the data table and data table has two columns. One is the serial number, which is integer and another column is the Emirates, which is spring. And then we have added these values. So these values are added. So this could be your dynamic table also. You can also create the table from other table. You can also get the summarized table from other tables also. I'll show you that in another. So this was all about creating the static table in Power BI for the analysis or for future purposes.